Achebe International Airport is located in which I'm Nigeria? Amanda. Team Hotel. <laughs> Wednesday evening in Big Brother's house and travel better is here. Shout out to them for coming with the most beautiful merchandise we have seen so far. And for tonight's game, it's grouped into a different category. A game for the first one, the money housemates are expected so for to this play. game. Big Brother promised that it will be light hearted and fun. Each team is expected to bring out two players, and these two players, there will be a collector and a transporter. They are to work hand in hand to see that their team collects as many balls as possible. So the role of the collector is to go into the pool of, uh, the pool of balls and pick blue balls. Okay, Big Brother actually said that they have two shades of blue ball, the darker one and the light blue. So the light blue ball contains is just one point. So for every time you successfully transport one light blue ball your team gets one point and for the dark blue ball it's two points now what the collector is expected to do is you know try to collect as as much as uh, blue or the dark blue to earn more points and when the collector collects they now hand it over to the transporter in this particular game, I will say that the transporter is even the person doing the most of the work because you are expected to walk through this beam you are looking at. You walk through the beam with the ball, just holding the ball with your hands. You are not allowed to support it with your chest or any other parts of your body. You must just hold in your hands and walk through this beam and put them in that blue uh, bean basket. The goal is to collect as many, as, many balls as possible. And through a lucky dip, the housemates were grouped into four teams. And for each team that we play in, they will just have three minutes to do this particular category. The first team to play were Team Flights. When I saw this category, I just started laughing. This group, I started laughing because, come on, what are the odds? And to think they were grouped just through a lucky dip. And we have Nelly, we have Anita, we have Osi, Ozi, we have Femi, and we have uh, Mickey. For Team Flight, O.C. was the collector while Mickey was their transporter. And Mickey battled with the beam. He complained about it being so slippery. And at that, he was just able to make one successful uh, transportation. Up next, we have Team Visa. This category, uh, this group is made up of Shatoria. That's Sean, Victoria, Wani, Handy, Chizoba, Onyeka. And for their team, Handy was their collector and Wani the transporter. Wani did so well as she was able to make three successful journey. And But the thing is, each ball has a point. I don't know if Handy paid attention to collecting the, much, the balls with the more scores like the like team flights oc was very careful while selecting balls he made sure he picked the one with higher scores with suj being the transporter for team tip team tip did very well suj uh, successfully went on that beam for 17 times <laughs> without falling in fact he even had balls on his hands when their time when their duration expired and for team tip we have tofa and suj we have uh to be f uh, to be fresh no to be forge and mayor fresh and then we have cassia and kelly ray that's the double key that was an excellent one from suj like i was like bro <laughs> that was smooth man action bell also performed excellently for his team for team hotel we have dj flo and ruti that's the flourish chingwe and zion zimwe ben and tj better for their team ruti was the collector while ben was the transporter and he did really good job with this the first round comes to an end so the team flight got eight points team visa 38 points Team Tip, 86 points. Team Hotel, 91 points. And in case you've forgotten, Team Hotel is made up of Ben, TJ, Chingwe, DJ Flo, and Ruti. 
Now to the second this second category game is just the like day. the flip and conceal game that the housemates have played before. So they're very familiar with this game. Just that in this one they are presented with tiles and these tiles are made up of country flags. So they have a total number of twenty flags. All they have to do is flip and match. When you flip and you don't get a match, you conceal both ties together. Big Brother also instructed them that for this game, every touch is a move. For any tile you touch, you must go ahead and flip. Now, <laughs> the first team to go in for this is Team Visa. When they entered the arena, they were deliberating whether Onyeka should do this. Onyeka, but she's about now saying she wants to play this game. She wants to represent them in this one. And Onya can also just allow her to do it. And Wani and Andy, are you sure you can do this? Now, going into play and Chizuba, it happens that Chizuba didn't even understand how the game is being played. Initially, she was asking them, I flip, I do this. And they were like, you know, they responded, yes, you flip, you conceal. But then when the game started, it happened that Chizuba doesn't understand how this game is being played. Chizuba was able to match so many flags, but you know, the process is the process that determines whether your end results will count. And at the end, Big Brother told them that only two of their matched tiles will count for them. Hi, coming out, you need to see the sadness in their face that Ruth even said, <laughs> Shebi, had it been they got it, we for no hear what, we for just the hear evil bitches, evil bitches. <laughs> Ruthie, I love this house there. Eh? Team Tip, we are the next to play. Mayor Furush at first did not understand the, the instruction, but immediately Big Brother corrected him. He picked up and did a very good job. TJ played for his team and Big Brother kept correcting him that at a time Big Brother had to tell him this is the final warning. And at the end of this game, Big Brother did not say well done. And you know what it means when Big Brother refuses to say well done? <laughs> When Big Brother refuses to say well done. But I'm glad though. I'm glad it's TJ that played that way. Because if it was another another person in that team, we all know how TJ reacts to game. I don't want to say that he's a sore loser, but most of the times, you know, he will complain his mood, the way he will react to you towards the person that played and all that. So I'm glad he's the one that did this particular one that Big Brother kept saying, final one in TJ. Ozzy started off with a correction from Big Brother and after which he smashed the game. Now, to move to the third and final category of tonight's task, Big Brother went ahead to mention the result of this concluded game. And Team Flight got 8 points, Team Visa 2 points, Team Tip 10 points, Team Hotel 4 points. So with this point now, Team, v Team Flight now have a total of 16 points. Team Visa, 40. Team Tip, 96. Team Hotel, 95 points. Now, this final game is a game of color. Big Brother started by assigning colors to the various teams. Team Flight, Blue. Team Visa, Red. Team Tip, Yellow. Team Hotel, Green. Now, what will happen is these colors will build their color on this board you're seeing on your screen. So, for every question you answer correctly, you move to the next board and each question carries two points so for this game now every team we require to have someone that will spin the wheel another person the person that will be working on the board that's on the team's color that they have on the board and then one rep that will be asking questions then the rest of the team will be answering so anytime they spin the wheel and it lands on a color that is not any color that we have on this board. They will have to they will have to spin again. But when you get purple, blue, green, or red, then you go ahead and pink and pick uh, any of these and then ask the question in it. For any question answered correctly, they get two points. At the end, the team with the most answered question wins this category. For team tip, Kelly Ray was the one who worked on the boards. Cassia was the one spinning the wheel while uh, the rest of the team, except for Toby, who was asking questions. And they were asked questions like the largest country in the world, capital of Senegal, uh, the official currency of the United Kingdom, most populated country. For Team Hotel, Chimwe was the wheel spinner while Zion worked on the board. 
then dj flo was the one asking the questions and the rest of the team were answering they were asked questions like who was the united uh, states of america president in 2009 they asked them where the eiffel tower is located where is the chino achebe airport located they also asked them questions like official currency of the united kingdom and ghana is located in gulf of what for this team tj answered all the questions tj answered all questions in fact when big brother was like congratulations to them big brother said no congratulations to tj like well done tj for answering <laughs> all the questions for team visa hmm wani and handy were in charge of spinning the wheel and working on the board while sean was the one asking questions now um sean claimed to know most of the questions that were asked so when they were doing this whole positioning thing you know before the questions started coming in you know he was like he'll be the one that'll ask questions i'm like if you know you're well traveled since it's current affairs because big brother already told them they'll be answering questions why not be among your team and give someone else the chance to ask question well at the end of the day they didn't do well with most of their questions they were asked questions like capital of thailand uh where is kilimanjaro located but victoria answered that particular question correctly most populated city um where is chino achabe airport located uh mention five continents <laughs> Well, they didn't answer most of their questions. And Sean was like, how come you people don't know the capital of Thailand? I'm like, Baba, why did you decide to be the one that will ask questions? How I wish housemates will learn how to, you know, move on if a task didn't go well enough. This is just teamwork. Like, do you want to tell me that if it's an individual task, you start blaming yourself. Oh, why didn't I get this one? You move on now, Abby. Then to the last and final team, Team Flight. This team answered be, like the highest number of questions if not for their first game which didn't turn out well being that most of the highest points were amassed from the first game they could have actually have done very well in this travel better task but it is what it is <laughs> so for this team femi was the one in charge of the wheel uh nelly walked through the board and mickey was the one a asking questions then the Mbadiwe twins and anita we are answering and they did very well they sabi this general knowledge stuff for. so with that tonight's game comes to an end so for this category team flight that is um Mbadiwe, nelita and radicals they scored 14 making them the highest scorer of this category team visa scored six team tip four team hotel swarf so in a total now it's in total team flights has 30 points team visa 46 team tip 100 team hotel 107 congratulations to team hotel team hotel is made up of the zimwe flourish and better <laughs> in fact big brother made all the teams to come on stage and when your team is mentioned you take a bow and leave the stage leaving only the winners of tonight's task Congratulations, congratulations to team hotel after that anita was called on stage and housemates sang a birthday song for her and big brother informed them that the storeroom is open cakes drinks small chops chicken name it have been provided for anita for her birthday and tofa being the sweet guy presented a bouquet to anita <laughs> such a sweet boy thank you for listening and that's all for travel better task do have a lovely night. Bye.